Okay, today I'm going to show you the demonstration for the UBIOX Pro 2 terminal. And as you can see from the form factor, it's same as a T9 slash 7000 or even the UBIOX Pro or Pro Lite. We're using the same enclosure. With the Pro Pro Lite, you'll see the angle bracket, so it makes it look a little bit uh, bigger than normal, but we're all using the same enclosure. As you can also see, we have uh, two cameras, and I told you before that this technology is based on visible light, which is standard RGB color. So we're using two RGB cameras and the IR LED count is obviously lower. So that's not the main technology here, like the Pro or Pro Light. So we have a minimal number of IR LEDs. And then here, there's two other sensors here for detecting the presence of somebody moving forward uh, in front of the device. The first demonstration will show you the registration process and I'm going to not show the registration process uh, with the phone or with another picture. We're just going to do the registration right on the terminal and when I do the Alpeta demonstration at another webinar session later on, when we have it all together, then I will show you the registration with the uh, mobile phone. So I'm going to demonstrate enrolling the user with the um, face, fingerprint, or card, or password. So we go to the user, standard, add a user, automatically generated ID for the next available user slot. And then of course we have all the user credentials and then you can choose fingerprint, face, password, card, then the authentication type. So since it's a face terminal, let's enroll the face. And with this device, the optimal location is having the face in the blue area. It will still register outside that, but you don't want any problems later, so it's best to register it where we recommend. So we'll put the start, and it's simple. Take a picture, and the process is finished. And since we're here, we'll en enroll the fingerprint as well. Choose this indexing. And you can register up to 10 fingerprints uh, on this device per user. As I told you last time, it requires two fingerprint registrations of the same finger, of course, and it's going to measure the quality to make sure it's okay. Then it doesn't store the image again. It does the extraction of the image and stores that in the user data. And since we have a card here as well, I'll register a card. Password, okay. Confirmation, and then the important part is choosing your authentication type, what you want to use in this case. So right now they're grayed out, so none of them are selected. So I'm going to choose to turn them all on. Now, why that came up with the password is the password can be used with another one other authentication type only. Um, it does not work with a multi-authentication type. I'll get into that later. Important now is we have the card, fingerprint, and face. Make sure that that was saved. And if it does a timeout, it doesn't save it. Face, fingerprint, or card. Okay. There's the user data now. All of the uh, status screen of what we registered. Save. Now, of course, basic card authentication, and then the face is simply standing anywhere in front of the cameras, so your face will be anywhere on the, the screen according to the camera uh, position. And as we advertise, it's up to three meter distance, so you can see he's pretty far back from the terminal, so it's quick authentication type. Now, I'll just demonstrate, that's why we call it a walkthrough, so the ability to quickly detect somebody as they're passing through. So I'll go first, and then you'll see quickly. And once again, and the other question that's coming up a lot is how does it handle two people or more at the same time? So there's my authentication, two people. And you can see the IDs 
I'll just sit here. ID2, ID3. It's going to toggle between the two. Um, it doesn't detect at the same time. It does one, then the other. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is show you when we use the multimodal. So I'll go to that user modify at this time. And since we already know the ID of three, and I'll change the authentication type to an end function. Right now we can do three authentication type. Might as well keep it on the three. Card, fingerprint, end, face. Save it. Now, as I said, it's a little bit higher security level that you can choose using this kind of authentication. And with the card, first, then it requires the fingerprint and then the face. It's a very quick process with the face, obviously. So uh, if you try to enter the fingerprint first or the face, then face first, then it's asking for the card and then the fingerprint. Fingerprint. It's very sensitive. And if it's not my fingerprint, hopefully it shouldn't work. And verify the card again because it just wants to. Verify the fingerprint. Obviously it failed. Okay, good. It was detecting the face too much in that. That's why it was uh, popping up like that. Uh, so that's the demonstration of the enrollment process and the authentication process for the UBIOX Pro 2. And as I said, I will show the demonstration in the later Alpeta demo of how to register your face through a standard uh, mobile uh, phone picture.